Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to show you a powerful way to create fully typed REST API. So let's get started. Recently I've been working on flashcard learning app. So basically you can add a new DEX. Let's call it test for now. You can add new cards to it and you can learn from them. Also, I will add a spaced repetition algorithm. So based on how well you answered, the card will be uh, given to you in the other intervals, for example, in a week or in a month, or maybe tomorrow if you fail to guess. Uh, okay, but uh, when creating it, I decided to use my own backend. I didn't want to use, for example, TRPC because in my opinion, it's too coupled with your frontend. And I didn't want it because I want to create a mobile app also. So REST API or GraphQL API uh, were uh, into decision I have to make. So I've decided to go with the REST API. So here's my code and uh, I've decided yeah, to use uh, Fastify and Node.js. Fastify is a cool alternative to Express.js if you are familiar with one. Mm, so here is the main guest of our video. So it's a library called OpenAPI TypeScript Fetch, which enables you to generate functions that are fully typed based on your uh, swagger schema that your backend serves. So I'm going to show you an example of how it works. Let's go to my package.json in the web. So I've got this generate script that will use open API TypeScript. And as for now, uh, when I'm only doing a local development, uh, and it's no nowhere in the production. I'm just putting uh, the URL. And if we are going to go there, as you can see here, it is just my backend schema. For example, we will find some some action to show you uh, where I can find some. Here's something, but I can't find the URL. Where is it? Oh, come on, come on. Okay, but as, as you can see, it's nothing crazy. It's j it is just the Swagger schema in the JSON format. So this is exactly what this library gets. And it creates the TypeScript file with types. So let's do it. pnpm run generate. Generate. Okay. And it saves in my uh, in my case to source lib flashcards. So let's go there. Okay. So as you can see here, it creates an interface called paths. And here are all of the endpoints that I can call. Also, they have what parameters uh, they need to get or for example, what they return. So for a 200, which is a good response, everything, everything went well, it will return an application JSON uh, and object with data and inside will be ID of the, of the what, of the card, front text, back text and the type, and it will be array. So it's great. And actually, it is not the main library that I'm talking about today, but the other library that make a use of it. Uh, where, where is it? <laughs> Here. Okay, so from open API TypeScript fetch, we import fetcher and based on based on it, we create um, we create some object. And we of course have to give it the paths from the other file. And based on it, as you can see here, we have to give it the configuration. We can use middlewares, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm here defining the base URL it will connect to. So for example, I created the get all decks function 
and I just given it the path of slash dex method is get because we are getting data and dot create is we are creating this function. So let's see how am I using it. So we are in the page the tsx. It's my main page which is uh, displayed here. And as you can see here, I'm using also a use query because it is just so cool for for fetching client on the client side. And all I do is query function is get all decks. And here is the main point. Uh, I'm, I'm saving it to the response, but response.data, as you can see here, it is already typed. I didn't have to do anything. I'm not doing any assertions. I'm not validating it with Zod or any validating library. I'm just getting the correct data, which is extremely cool. As you can see here, DEX, it can be an array of objects or undefined in terms like, for example, if the backend didn't yet give me the data. So let's see what I have for you today. Mm, yeah, and also the only downside which I'm currently working on is, for example, if I go to the cards.roots and check change something, let's say uh, the schema no longer returns data with this object, but it will return also something else, all front text will be an object with two fields, then I have to go again to my web and again create my types and the functions because if I didn't do it, actually it would uh, fetch data with another types than are actually in here. So as I said, I'm going to create a lot of videos with this app. If you're interested in how to make one, uh, don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. And I hope you find it interesting and learn something. So see you in the next one.